So this meeting is about liberation, freedom. Now, liberation isn't, isn't a thing. It isn't something that can be known. It, it, it actually is already. Everything is already liberated. This is, this is liberation. It's the most obvious thing that's happening. It's, it's absence. It's the absence of knowing what's happening. It's the emptiness that is everything already. Everything's empty. There's nothing in here. There's just absence. So it doesn't have a position. There's not a position for absence. There isn't even a here for absence. It's just absence emptiness emptiness is liberation and everything is already empty now this emptiness in emptiness or in freedom might be easier to talk talk about it like that in freedom freedom can appear to be something and that something that we're pointing to or talking about is the the sense that there's a someone, a someone in the body looking out, a someone having a feeling or knowing what this is. Now that sense of being someone engenders, engen well, first off, it hides the, the absence that everything is already. But it engenders a sense of need, wanting, and generally, that sense of need or wanting is, is, um, is not questioned. It's just a part of life, trying to find something, a better experience, whatever that might be. Every sense of separation has that sense of need. And every sense of separation is seeking to fulfill that. There, there is sometimes a dissatisfaction or a recognition that that getting more, more experience, more knowing somehow isn't what's truly longed for. And so you end up in a meeting like this. <laughs> the thing is, is that in this meeting, so that sense of separation, part of its conviction is that what what's truly longed for if no if 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 satisfaction's not not working anymore what's truly longed for is something else it's something in the future it's something that's going to happen to you to that separate sense that's going to bring about the end of seeking the absence and most well all paths confirm that sense of separation and that sense that something will happen in the future, that something is going to happen to that sense of separation, which is going to bring about the end of seeking. But <clears throat> this meeting isn't like that. What's obvious is that there is already absence. Even that sense of separation is absence appearing as a sense of separation. So in this meeting, there won't be any confirmation that there's an actual separate sense, actual. It's apparent, I understand that, but it's not real. And there won't be any suggestion on what to do or where to go or how to find what's longed for. And the reason there isn't is because what's obvious is that it is already. Absence is all there is, appearing as right now a, an apparent meeting about absence. <clears throat> for that sense, that separate sense, the idea is that there's something missing. And for the separate sense, the only thing that has value is experience and knowing. 
So the separate sense will say that there's something, well, let's, let's put it here. There's something that this knows that that doesn't. There's something that this has that that has, do, doesn't have. There's, some, there's an experience that happened here that didn't happen there. And counterintuitively, it isn't that way. This doesn't, this, this doesn't know anything that that doesn't know. So nothing happened here that isn't already happening there. That, whatever that is, or every body, is the same absence. It's already done. So in that sense, there's really nothing on offer. It isn't about getting anywhere. There is something about, or the possibility that, that, the, that this message, which isn't actually a message, the absence being shared, can be can be um can become obvious it's just being overlooked it's overlooked by the separate sense that feels like knowing and experience are all that have value but that isn't what's truly longed for what's truly longed for is already what is absence being everything that appears Nice to, to be here. So may I ask you a question about relationships? I know there are no real relationships between people, but uh, before uh, the, this uh, parent uh, falling away of uh, me in, in Jim Newman, yeah? And now, for example, when I compare, I have three children, I have relationships, and I can be only myself like without any uh, pretensions without any demands only with my daughter who is six months old because there are no there are no you know such kind of some requirements something some um yeah but the, I don't the, want the, the, yeah. the difference we're talking about is the sense that someone there has something like children yeah and as long as there's that sense there'll be the sense of well, of being a person, and a, a person is a mask. Yeah. It'll, it'll feel, it'll have a mask of being someone yeah. in particular. Yeah, and you wait something from other people, yeah, you, you want something yeah. from, uh, yeah. you have expectations, yeah. yes, especially from children. You want them to be successful, to study well. well yes, so talking about expectation is a is a bit of a I don't know. It could get a it could get a little bit into the weeds because there's still you know even when there isn't anyone there's a reasonable expectation that even if my if the if the um, headlights don't show the road at the end of the where the wherever I'm headed that there'll be a road yeah. there. There's a reasonable expectation. Yeah. We're we're not talking about what appears we're talking about what that it, it the sense that there's someone separate that it's appearing for is an illusion yeah but for example you, you still can have some expectations from from your surrounding from people you interact with yeah for, for example to help you somewhat yeah it's uh, some, <clears throat> some well there, some there aren't other any other people there's just what's happening i there's I, the best I can get is there's a reasonable expectation that, yeah. you know, the road will be there when you go around yeah. the corner. These, that these seems to be of... part of the functioning of this, that there's a reasonable expectation. But there isn't any expectation on, on other people because there aren't any. Yeah. But when you interact, yeah, with people, I can... Uh, I don't. Uh, so, yeah, but, but they can be interaction friendly. Friendly interaction or unfriendly, yes? Yeah? So, totally, so, so. yeah. All that can happen. Yeah, but but uh, so there is no one that can choose to be friendly or not friendly. Or what, the, what, part, what, of the, what? part of the, the illusion or part of the story of separation is what you're describing is the value of the appearance. Mm -hmm. The individual can't help but look for value in the appearance. Yeah. But we can still, so no, not we, but there can be some choice made on 
on some on again the basis of again energy. it's the value it's the value yeah. of choosing or not choosing it's the value of being in control choice is the sense of having uh -huh. control over what's happening yeah no but it's i mean all about focused it's all focused on the appearance the appearance for that separate sense is real it matters it's how it has a it has something it calls a life or it feels like it has something that of a life and it's trying to make it work uh -huh. But we interact, so somehow interaction goes on. Uh, on but some you're back energetic... to making the appearance have value, which it doesn't, <laughs> not in that sense. Yeah. yeah. Part, of, part of the absence, the, at the end of that dream, which, isn't already, which already isn't real, is that what ha what's happening has meaning. It has purpose, that it matters in that way. Yeah, I can see. I can see that there is no value. But for example, choosing a partner, so it was made on well, some again, energetic you're level. To, you're back to the value of what's happening, uh -huh. and the choice that the individual dreams it makes. Uh -huh. No, no value on on any level. Just no, just no value choice. on any level. No, a parent choice. Just There's a parent choice, but no one ever makes it. Even, no one. even the separate sense doesn't make the choice. You know, it's a, it's an interesting idea. Yeah, I always thought that this energy, yes, uh, this contracted energy somehow, yeah, I don't know on what level, but somehow can can affect the choice. I don't know. So this. Oh, this it, does. Is, it does. It does. There's there's a completely different. The the appearance is different. It seems different if there's an individual because it's looking for something so it does have an effect on it doesn't have any power yeah power no power yeah but no uh, yeah. but it but as a reaction it has an effect yeah yeah, yeah i can see i can see so, so thanks and uh, another question so i have li i have been listening to one of your um meetings uh real meetings yeah and about uh, the problems of translation so you know yeah. i have noticed that the words apparently for example in the russian language apparently have uh, has two meanings apparently meaning without any doubt so yeah. i apparently see your idea yeah and apparently meaning it's an appearance apparently we oh, are here apparently yeah, and huh. there were questions all the time that, how, what does it mean apparently? If we are apparently here, it means, yeah. yeah and every time there was the problem, yeah, lost in translation as to say. That yeah. Apparently means just not uh, without any doubt, but apparently just an appearance. Yeah, that's right. Not that's real. what I mean by it. Yeah, yeah. apparently. Not, yeah. not in the meaning without any doubt. No. Because, yeah, yeah. So thanks a lot. All right. Thank you, Bye. Susan. Goodbye. Hi, Halosia. Hi, Jim. Hi. How are you? Yeah, good. Thanks. How are you? Good. So, um, this, despite the uh, knowledge, the understanding that all illusory most of us come here identify there isn't an us. us there isn't an us there is this such understanding there isn't even a you of of course there isn't but still there appears um despite understanding it's illusory become in it in the illusion of being identified with a story yeah it's not it's not about identifying or disidentifying but yeah the separate sense is looking for something yeah. overlooking the absence that it is that everything is already yeah as if feeling trapped and trying to get rid of it can feel trapped. all sorts of things it doesn't it doesn't really matter being trapped and being not trapped are just stories are yeah. just are just the context it gives itself yeah and there's a lot of flourishing in this uh, <laughs> stories <laughs> and and not <laughs> and a lot of apparent drama <laughs> yeah 
yeah. apparent trauma. Yeah. It's so funny. It's like uh, in identifying with trauma, it's like this isn't is about split. identification. Yeah. We're not talking about identifying or disidentifying. Okay. There isn't the, it, there isn't anyone. Yeah. To identify or disidentify. But it appears to be. That's why we yeah, are trying there to get to rid some. of it. <laughs> yeah, but that's the illusion. Yes. Trying to get rid of the illusion. It's like a, a mouse. It is. In that oh, wheel. it is. Totally. <laughs> totally. Wow. <laughs> and it's a, what I was trying to say, it, still, it appears there is a split in trauma. There is a split. There is the not good enough and the other one trying to get rid of the not good enough. There's yeah. more people, more apparent people in the cracks when there's of the illusion. When, when there's an individual, there seems to be a multitude of things. Yeah. And they all, they're all important because they're all happening to me. Right? Which is an illusion. Yeah. Well, let's say it takes on an illusory importance. But actually trying to get rid of it completely. It's the same thing. Away of it's the, the same energy. Yeah, it, it is. Just, it just confirms the sense of separation. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> hopeless, Jim. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yes. Thank you so much, Jim. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Siddharth. Hi. Hi, Jim. Hi. Um, so so uh, this had been trying to find out what this is for some years, but then I got your message and I understood that all the, all the, try, all the trial or the attempts were trying to find a uh, time to understand what this is was the, actually the the contracted energy and I feel super light now and uh, like so does the mind take some time to completely give up because like I feel super light because the, the thoughts that were used up by the contracted energy to you yeah know, to I I to to the I thoughts no I so never are, gives up so it, it it continues it does not give up until it isn't anymore until it isn't anymore which really is means it just never was there isn't there isn't an I to stop being I. Okay, so so like so if, if whatever whatever the the thoughts that are necessary to thoughts that appear that are necessary to for the for this to work and to to function yeah, will yeah. come. But whatever thoughts that were related to the the contracted energy that that was trying yeah. to understand something yeah that yeah. will be that will fade because that yeah because that, that, only does, that stops people. yeah so so does it take because this happened to me like uh, yesterday only and yeah. uh, and and that is why i wanted to ask does this take some time to completely give up yeah yeah <clears throat> okay uh, and uh, I just wanted some clarification that when you use the word apparently it, it just means that it is happening in reality but it has no meaning to it. It's just happening. And that is why we can call it nothing. Y yes, but like, the, the apparently is making a distinction between the separate sense, which sees the yes. what is as real. Yes, yes, yes. Only to that extent. This is separate, unreal. separate but and this real. This is this. This is this is happening, right? But it's but it's only absence appearing. Yes, yes. True that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so I, I just want the mind to completely give up and I just want your business. Thank you so much. Who wants the mind to give up? <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you. I got, I got you. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Bernard. Thank you. Bless me. <laughs> Everything is already blessed. Hi, Mark. Hello, Jim. Hi. Um, so would would you say that the me is is the need for change to always change something? It doesn't matter. It's just a, it's just a fundamental need. It could be the need for things to say the same. Whatever whatever appears is in some sense dissatisfying because it's separate. Right. 
So it will always need. It just it just it just needs something. Yeah. It, that's the feeling that this as it is isn't complete. Right. And, and when that need goes away, there's no knowing of what the the character or what they will, will 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 do, or maybe it, it will be more free or it is more. And there is a freedom. Uh, an unfolding or a bloom blossoming in a sense of the separate um, of the character but in in you know in the folks that I've seen where that's happened it isn't as it only a couple of times has it been dramatically different than the way that you know than it was before mm. yeah Okay, well, thanks. Thanks, Mark. Hi, Arif. Hey, Jen. Hi. <laughs> How are you doing? Enjoying yeah, the summer? Thanks. Summer's great. Yeah. Fantastic. Fantastic. It's starting to get a bit hot over here. Is it very yeah. hot over there, or how is it? How is it over there? There's the news um, of a heat wave all over the U.S. <clears throat> Being in the mountains, it doesn't get as hot. Yes, yeah, I can imagine. Yeah, it was quite nice. I bet your brother. Go. I bet your brother's hot. Yes, he is. Yes, he yeah. does say that. Yes. Yeah, but it's nice. When we drove up to the Braywood area, it was it was kind of there was a uh, there was a, cl a clear difference. In yeah, yeah. Temperature. Yeah. Yeah. So enjoy. Have oh, well, fun. Uh, so right now with listening to some of uh, the speakers previously and to responses, something that's emerged is, so the sense of there being a here and a now, not saying that it belongs to anybody, that, that sense, that's sort of like an object is being created. So- Yeah, it's a subject. A, yeah, yeah. A, the a, subject. A, a, yes, subject as, a, which is an object that, has an ownership no but it's well, the creation no, of objects no right? no the subject isn't an object the subject is the sense that there are objects the sense that there are objects okay so yeah which seems localized which gets a localization yeah. and then it thinks of itself as an object or it there is this 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 apparent but that's the subject seeing seeing itself as an object yeah yeah, that's exactly where I was coming to. The subject sees itself as an object. Yeah. And then there are objects everywhere. There are objects. There are concrete yeah. here and now things. And that's where the whole differentiation and the sense of reality as something, uh, you know. Actually, it's is... not. It doesn't happen that way, Arif. It's the sense of it's the sense. It's the sense of being a subject that that at simultaneously is the sense that there's a reality. Yes. It doesn't need another step of being objectified. It's the, it's the arising of the sense of separation, which is the sense that there's, that what is is real and meaningful and purposeful. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So the moment there is a sense of subject, there, there, a isn't, a, there isn't a moment. Yeah, okay. Well, the perception of the, the 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 subject arising is automatically separation. That's right. It is. Well, the the sense of separation there isn't any. Yeah, sense of separation. All there is is absence, and that absence can appear as the sense of separation, but it's still absent. It's still mm. empty. Yeah. So it's it's kind of paradox, right? So there is a an absence and it's trying to be a presence no, it's not so, trying to be anything it just can appear as that for without appearance. any reason mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but then it's like it can appear as a computer screen or a word yeah 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 just yeah it's just there apparent only apparent 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 apparently it's just there as in a, yeah. as, as felt sense of I mean. uh yeah. but you were also saying that there is uh, uh, like 
the 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 knowledge of for example when you're turning around a corner there's continuation reasonable of expectation yeah the reasonable expectations part <laughs> yeah but, but that also require doesn't that also require a subject doesn't that also require a doesn't seem to i mean there isn't a subject here it just seems to seems to be there the reasonable expectation that the road continues hmm. so that can that seems to be even in the absence of a subject oh totally yeah the individual is looking for something to change in the appearance because it feels like that's where the solution is hidden so it wants and it wants it wants to what would you call it oh i can't think of the word but differentiate in the appearance yeah. between what is and what isn't and it just has nothing to do with the appearance it has everything to do with the sense that someone sees mm, someone sees so that's where that's the remit of what you were saying uh these reason reasonable expectations are yeah well well the, the, but uh, that's trying to differentiate the appearance what what is real and what isn't real in the appearance the individual that separate sense is looking for a path mm. i mentioned that yeah. in the beginning that it's that the sense of sep that separate sense feels like it's what it's longed for is somewhere else so it wants to find mm. out how to find it and it can't it doesn't have anything else except the appearance to try to find it in and that entire story hides that all there is is absence, which is what's longed for. Yeah, the story of, okay, if there are reasonable expectations, there can be unreasonable expectations. We need to differentiate. The whole, there, the whole let's, story let's... of trying to find something. <laughs> yeah, you, you make, you, you're you actually making a gumbo out of all of that. And then trying to put them all together. <laughs> uh, when, you, when you come, that just arises, okay, when you're uh, I mean, All there is is my gumbo. Session. All there is is gumbo, yeah. yeah. It doesn't matter what's in there. It has, no, it, it doesn't matter. Great. Yeah. <laughs> this is so funny, as as well as it, it's as funny as it, it as it is hopeless. I mean, hopeless and funny seem to go totally. together. And... Totally. <laughs> yeah, I think that's that's where the disconnect is. If it's hopeless, then it shouldn't be funny. Or no. if it's funny, then yeah, yeah, so that's where yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice nice that sets me up for the summer thank great. you very much thanks Harry. take care enjoy the bye. and have a great time bye thanks bye. hi arlen how are we doing with connection now yeah now i'm fine can you hear me yeah okay now i'm fine so i i was saying you know about death. You you told me something about yeah um, bodies die. Apparently. Yeah, body. Okay. 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 And uh, but this changes when death, let's say, uh, occurs. Yeah. Well, it changes all the time, apparently. Yeah, but it it changes into nothing. No, no, it doesn't. It is nothing. Oh yeah, it is nothing. Uh, apparently yeah. changing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because um, I will tell you a personal story now but, uh, about this experience I had with um, ecstasy. It, it is a drug. Uh, I had a I mystical, I've mystical. Heard of it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But any and experience. Is, I mean, is is part of the separate dream definitely yeah and so what the individual will do with that is it will say that it has it has some value or meaning overlooking the absence of this yeah which is yeah, what's really yeah. longed for yeah because i'm trying to find something there yeah of course yeah there is nothing to find there isn't anything lost that's actually something that uh seems to have been revealed when yeah when, when that happened yeah so a very brief description is like 
mm-hmm. the body uh, it just dissolved i don't know how to yeah. explain it but it's just yeah. the, the inside and the outside was everything was so um, it's one, like it was one thing let's say it is okay so i i couldn't differentiate from the inside and the outside even yeah. the sound even the sounds that's like that's right where it, are they coming it just like, appears yeah yeah it's just but that's the way it is now <laughs> yeah i mean crazy right <laughs> And this profound sense of, uh, like, this profound sense that it is all happening. Like, I, I was looking at the sky, and the birds were flying, but I did not see birds flying. I just color shifting. And yeah. it was so immediate, you know, at that. Yeah, that's it. It was obvious, yeah. Yeah. At yeah. that time, you know. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. I mean, that's yeah. it. That's, that's, that's it. That's nothing appearing. Yeah. There's just colors. Yeah. Forms and shapes and sounds happening yeah. nowhere. Yeah, and in that, and I remember this profound sense of I don't matter. Like it's not personal. Yeah. Like it was. It was well, not. It's, it's not that. It's not that you don't matter. It's that there isn't a you. But that profound sense of, uh, let's say, love yeah. or acceptance, you know, oh. that was, it seems like it was everywhere, you know? Yeah, yeah. Well, it is. Yeah. It, it's all there is. And it, it is just what is. Uh, yeah. That's mind-blowing. Hmm. Like, I, I still, like, uh, I know what happened that, you know, that day, but, you know. You don't, I'm really. still... mm-hmm. The knowing of what happened that day is how this being the, exactly the same hides. You oh. can't know unconditional love. You can't know absence. Wow. Yeah, because there, there's nothing there, so there's nothing That's to be right. known. <laughs> <laughs> so trying to know it, it's like putting a veil into it, uh, obscuring. Oh, totally. Absolutely, yeah. That's exactly what happened. Yeah, but th- that seems so real when, when, you know. Yeah. But it's like. So about death, because uh, that is when death comes from, the question of death, because I didn't feel like uh, there was life or death. Yeah, well, there isn't. It's, a, it's part of the dream of separation, that there's death for the individual. But there isn't an individual. That's the only death that's feared, <clears throat> is the death of the individual. So the death of the individual is feared, you say. Yeah. But that's just part of the dream. Yeah, right. It is. Yeah. And this just appears to happen. Like, yeah. there's no reason about No. That. No, that dream is absence as well. Appe- yeah. yeah. It's a bird flying. Yeah. I don't know, it opens up something. It's like indescribable. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah. So thank you. Thanks, Arlen. Hey, Ethan. Hi, Jim. Hey. Can you hear me? Yeah. Good morning. I, I'm sure there's not really any worthwhile question to ask, but I, I still wanted to, to say hi and give you for a minute. Oh, sweet. 
I do have some confusion that comes in around like time. Um, a lot of times I hear what seems easy to understand intellectually is that it's just this. And also part of what this is has a story about where I came from and where I'm going. And But at the same time, I hear a lot of speakers make these concessions to time being real. Like, well, you know, I used to go see Tony and then I read this book and then. Yeah. And, and it's like there's a everyone's buying into that there was these things that happened in some sense, but but that comes out of you as you say buying into that this is really happening. Any question that I start, if I were to say, do you believe that X? It's just like, well, there's no, there's no one here, right? Is that the answer? Oh, well, yeah. there's just no one to believe. Right. Okay. Belief is part of the, part of the dream of separation. It makes it feel so, better. So there's no one over there that has a story about like, I did a Zoom call last week or something, or I met one of these people before. There might be a recognition when you see one of them and a sense of warmth, but there's oh, no- Oh, well, they're, me like, they're memories of all that, more or okay. less. <laughs> And and you engage those memories that occur as real. They give you a context for this. Oh, moment. they don't occur as real. Nothing does. This doesn't. This isn't real. Uh, it's apparent. It it seems to be happening, but it doesn't have any reality beyond the seeming happening of it. Memories are just like that. They're uh, oh, they're absolutely. Just... That's it. Okay, so um, I so. Time not being real seems easier to, to understand, even though I know understanding isn't the game here. What about people say like, or not people, this message I've been hearing, like space is also not real. Can you help yeah. me just like, what it's is- It's apparent. Space for the individual is I'm here and everything else is there. That, that it has a position. The individual has a position in relation to everything else. That's that's the sense of But that, I, I imagine- that, whatever's that, that's happening an illusion there isn't an individual there isn't a position that like um arlen was talking about there isn't an inside or an outside of a body thoughts or birds or whatever sound doesn't happen anywhere it happens everywhere that's just that's just everything whatever appears is everything so there's no no distance space or time to it although there might appear to be so my mind wants to say, well, when you go give a talk in Munich, there's like a little. Yeah, but it doesn't work, of... does it? Now you're trying to talk about a story that there's someone going somewhere doing right, something. Right, right, right. There is apparent movement, but it's absence apparently moving. Just like talking or anything else happens. There isn't someone. That... There isn't someone in that happening to which it's happening to. There's just happening. In the sense of location, like my sensory apparatus are limited to what happens in this room. There's a sense of being at a point in location. But that sense of location for the body is seems to have a, a, a solidity, a reality to it when there's someone having that. When there isn't What happens where your body just, is? It's just what's happening. It's just what happens. There's just what appears. And when your body goes into a different room, is there a That's sense of location? It, in a sense, nothing happened because it's all just absent. Like, but there's the, the appearance. Changed. The appearance seems to have changed to another room, and it isn't anyone's body. No one has a body. There isn't anyone. Right. There's a sense of that, like at some point, suppose you were to die, then this message won't come through this way anymore. It, yeah, but there things, won't be change, these... things apparently change all the time, but that's absence appearing to change, appearing to change. And stories about a future in which something happens. It's just absence appearing as stories. It's also absence appearing as though this is real or that it has a center or a position to it. It's still absence. Well, it's fun to, fun to meet you. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Thanks, man. Okay. I'll see you later. Hi, John.
Hi, John. Hey, Jim. How you doing? Yeah, good. Thanks. How are you? Good. Um, I was wondering if uh, um, appearance could be called consciousness. I think it's misleading. I, I was in a, I had a residential a couple of, well, maybe months now ago. And there was a, an Indian man who wanted to talk about consciousness. And I said, well, okay, what do you mean by consciousness? He says, well, nothing. I said, well, why not just say nothing? Because right. <laughs> <laughs> it seems to me that it's misleading. <clears throat> For me, that if someone were to say awareness or consciousness, that would be something I could do. Mm. it would right. it would be it, it implies someone doing something or being conscious or being aware mm. nothing nothing doesn't have or absence doesn't have that implication i think it's clearer yeah i think you're right i'm also wondering if this communication or what you're saying could be called a philosophy yeah i think for a lot of people it is a philosophy mm. it, and that's not what's being communicated there as far as i'm concerned there isn't even a message Hmm. It's not really trying to impart any sort of information or philosophy. It's pointing to what can be known, which isn't separate, which is already. So it couldn't, it's not in that sense, it's not in any way a philosophy. But it also sort of destroys all philosophies. In a, well, I don't know if that's true, because philosophy is just a description of um, the appearance a lot of times. Hmm. But if you're talking about philosophies about the meaning of life, the purpose of life, the meaning of the individual, then yeah, it does undermine, it can undermine that. It also undermines sort of metaphysical philosophies about how reality might be made up or- Oh, or totally. What, oh, yeah. it destroys the whole spiritual idea. Yeah, yeah. completely. Yeah. yeah, that it does, yeah. Yeah, okay, thank you. But it doesn't <laughs> replace it with anything. <laughs> well, but it's, <laughs> it sort of does though, because it, it's sort of the suggestion. Well, only if it's misunderstood. Because hmm. it isn't, it doesn't replace it with anything. The message is absence. Mm. That is a mind, a mind fuck. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Thanks. Thank you. Yep. Hey, Mark. Hey, hey, Jim. Hey. Um, so uh, here, I guess, at least, it seems to spend a lot of time sometimes on how to maybe like, if I'm talking to someone or like, I will sort of uh, project maybe, I guess, stories. Or... Yeah, but this, this won't have anything to say to any of that. You're starting off with the sense, the sense that there's an I doing something. And the very simple suggestion here is there isn't. Right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but it, no. And I can help. Uh, I can help, but try to figure that out in some way. No, uh, that's true. I understand that. Fair enough. Because it doesn't make any sense, you know? No. no it doesn't, it's just... No. But it's, it's also just absence trying to figure it out. It doesn't have any value to it. It's just what's happening. Right, apparently. right, right. Okay, thanks. Thanks, Mark. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Jim. Hey. Hi, how are you? Good to see yeah, good. you. Yeah, thanks. You and I you. missed the uh, seminar of the uh, phase well. I know. Um, darn. <laughs> there was this big hole in the room where Kathy oh, was been... sitting. <laughs> Nobody was quick. We left the chair empty for you. <laughs> oh, sure. Okay, anyway, um, when you were talking before to a reef and somebody else, like, <clears throat> You know, you, you're going around the driving down the road and even without the subject, you expect the road to continue. Well, no one expects the road to continue, but there is a reasonable expectation that the road continues. 
Because if, if there was a reasonable ex, ex, uh, expectation that the road did not continue, that would be projection. Well, correct. yeah, it just wouldn't fit. It wouldn't make any sense to be on the road, would it? Well, it would be like a projection of the reality of this illusion. I'm I'm a bit little lost at where you're going with this, but you know the the appear in the appearance this body has has let's say experience, it has yeah. a memory, and there's a reasonable expectation that that functions. And this this is never driven on roads that weren't there. <laughs> 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 Okay, it's like, okay, let me, let me do this. Like, let's say Kathy's physical form, I'm, I'm looking out the window and I'm seeing a there squirrel. There isn't a Kathy's physical form. Okay, the physical form died right now, had a heart attack. Is the squirrel still there? In it, the, the individual wants to know everything. It's a sense of control. <laughs> it's a sense of wanting to be in control. Because, you know, it there's a whole like, fear. It feels like the answer is in whether the squirrel is there or not. <laughs> it's it's tied to the sense that the individual, the reason death is so fearful is because it's the loss of everything. All fear comes from the fear of death. And it's a sense all fear is the lot fear of loss. That can be the loss of self of value, self-image, possessions, and all loss is the is death. That's the sense of all loss. And so wanting to know what happens after you die <laughs> is the <laughs> ultimate wanting to control. <clears throat> no, 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 no. It was, re it was really, because um, I came across somebody's theory, you know, and you've heard this, everybody's heard this, that, and I know you, you know, it's up enough, well, it's all projection. This, 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 it's all projection. Of what? The projection of, of the awareness. I don't know. A projection. It's just projection. Oh. It's 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 well, as far as I'm concerned, the only projection is out of the individual, out of the separate sense. The only projection is the separation. Yeah. And that projection or that that sense is that everything is real, has meaning and purpose. Yeah, yeah. There's, there's nothing you, more to be said like how it, how it <laughs> you know what I'm well, saying? Well, it doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't. It's, simpler than, it's simpler than figuring it out. This is <laughs> the beginning and end of everything. This is everything. It's so simple. I know. Yeah. <laughs> and so the me, that separate sense goes, what about me? <laughs> <laughs> I can't figure that out. No, there's nothing to figure out. Yeah. 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 Just to be, okay. Trying to like yeah. get a hold of something. Oh, totally. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. That was a teeny little piece. <laughs> <laughs> give it to me jim give it to me <laughs> love you jim thank you so much love you thank too you. thanks kathy hi alan hi can you hear me okay yeah cool um you know when i first uh found you uh on youtube i was just so tickled that I seem to get hit every 20 years with some kind of a uh, an expansive uh, period of time where new ideas arrive. Um, yeah. I kind of, everything fell apart in like the early 80s, which began kind of a searching period. Yeah. And um, like 20 years after that, I often had a feeling that a lot of the things I was reading and listening to that... Uh, some of the teachers uh, or the people that that I was reading from uh, just didn't go far enough. If, yeah. if they would have just taken it like all the way, 
maybe i just had a feeling like that yeah, no, that's just a story and, yeah uh when i read uh i found way Wu way the author yeah who was an old british guy <laughs> i thought he was a chinese guy yeah but uh, he 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 spoke about um things like the absence of presence and absence yeah kind of Absolutely. like a double absence yeah and i well, i it's remember not a double him, absence it's just complete absence complete absence i guess right right because uh, uh, a lot of what the spe uh, uh, speakers were talking uh, about was absence but the, uh, and then somebody would come along and have a story about how they experienced absence yeah <laughs> so, <laughs> so, <laughs> they're not going far enough with it it seemed to me you know yeah. and and way 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 was a kind of a shot in the arm in that way uh, kind of a a, a, a way I, he he also uh well, there were some other terms he used that really uh, went further than yeah. anybody I'd heard up until that point. And here we are in the uh, 2020s, and I, I find you and I find Tony, and I'm just tickled uh, uh, yeah. that that you know that that there's finally somebody out there who's, who's not pulling any punches, totally, and laying it on the line. Yeah, it's and, wonderful. Uh, it, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Just wonderful to spend time with you. It's it's yeah. awesome. You know? oh, thanks, Thank you. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Alan. You bet. Hi, Anita. Hi, Kim. Hi. I recognize that from uh, the birds and the clouds and the sounds and the, the movements of the branches oh, what he was talking about was there isn't anyone to recognize it yeah <laughs> yeah the, the, you know it it touches yeah and sometimes it's still this i don't want this so a kind of a behavior but that's it. But that's it as well. I mean, it's not. It's not about finding anything or changing anything. That's emptiness. I don't want this. Is empty. There isn't actually a story to it. It's just emptiness. Appearing as I don't want this. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks a lot. <laughs> Thanks. Hi, Arlen. Hey, Jim. Hey. It's me again. Yeah, I noticed. So I was just uh, reflecting a little bit more about the fact that uh, when I speak to you, because um, I don't know if you remember, but I, I have spoken to you many other, other times. It's always, you always leave like it's always like not a big deal and it's always like it leaves you with nothing yeah when it, when you talk with other speakers that say that they are talking about the same stuff you know yeah. there's always something there to know yeah and it's always something important you know yeah <laughs> yeah yeah so they, they yeah. say that they are talking about nothing but they want to communicate something yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, I, this is very, very, it very matter easy. though. No one yeah. does that. It's just, it's just absence appearing as appearing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> ah. Great. Thanks, Arlen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Hi, Marianne. Hey, Jim. Um, Hi. Memory. Is What's that? What Memories. Memories, yeah. It's only what happens. Yeah. Absence appearing as memory. Thank you. Okay, yeah.
Hi, Ethan. Hey, Jim. Hey. So sitting here, like, w wanting to talk with you some more and knowing there's, like, no point to any question. Um, and one thing I noticed I'm curious about is, like, there's, there's this kindness and warmth that seems to be in the connection and the communications with the people that are talking to you or the whatever, you know, I'll just talk about it in a way it appears to me. And and I'm, I've, I've tend to think of that as coming from someone, like kindness and warmth are, are characteristics of a, of a person who cares about- Nothing things. actually comes from anyone. It's just a story. That's a story. There's just the appearance of kindness and warmth. Are there other things that might show up? I might come and be in a meeting with anything, you. Anything, anything. There are absolutely no um, guide rails, guardrails to this. It's immediate, wild, free. I absolute. You could, you could do something really severe, like tell me to go fuck off, or like you, you could be other than warm oh, and polite. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. That seems to happen. There's no question that has any value in this moment to ask. But nothing right? does. Right. Nothing, nothing has any value. It doesn't, the whole idea of value is that the appearance is going somewhere. It needs to go somewhere. That there's that there's a real, this is really happening and it needs to become something. That it, it doesn't and it isn't. Yeah, there's a sense of wanting to justify why am I here by coming up with a good question or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And that doesn't, and that's the same, the same absence appearing as a question or appearing as a sense that something has to happen that somehow this isn't perfect. <laughs> <laughs> if I find the right question, this could get even better, yeah. right? <laughs> but if there aren't any guardrails, what could, what could the right question be? What's excluded? Hmm. So, so if I listen to talks, I wouldn't hear you say to some people, that's a really good question, like in response to certain questions. They aren't, they aren't special, they aren't different. Oh, do I say that sometimes? That's a good question. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Huh. No, no, no. I'm asking you. I'm not saying you do. I'm just asking. Sounds like you. Oh, right. I don't know. I would have, I would have, yeah. I, if you had you said I did, I would have thought, oh, right. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> <clears throat> the communication you... that's, the communication that's happening here, the questions aren't negligible. It's not that they are completely unimportant, but it's really the communication is absence. So it's not the words themselves necessarily, it's, it's what's where the words are coming from. So as emptiness kind of just talks with itself, is there any motive anywhere that wants anything to shift or anything to be known or not known? No. It's just the sound just of the wind and the leaves. Absolutely. There just isn't that need. I keep noticing this desire to wonder about your experience. Like, are you enjoying yeah. yourself? But the, you would say, like, I'm not having an experience or there's no one having an experience. That's right. And and it's not different in a very real way from that. It's just there might be an added, <laughs> an added sense there that there is an experiencer to this. My part of this situation over That's here. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> And I'm so uh -huh. curious about your part over there as they hold on to my part of it. Yeah, it's the How same. Looking to you, it's right? the same. <laughs> it's just there might be something there going, this is my experience. Mm. It's pretty sticky, all that way of thinking and relating. Oh, to the me is totally to sticky. Yeah. 
it's like every moment of stillness gets followed by like trying to do something with it. Yeah. Oh, well, this isn't about stillness though. It isn't about anything or it's about everything. Hmm. Even that sticky meanness. Oh, to- well, that's the thing. Yeah. The, the, the biggest conundrum for the individual is that what's longed for is what it is. Mm. There isn't actually a separation. It's all Such, already absent. It's so, it's so ironic. The apparent context of these meetings and, and, and you know, it's like that there's something to get, right? And then yeah. you get there, like, yeah. hey, there's nothing to get. Like, okay, so what do I get about that, right? Like immediately. <laughs> That's right. How do I get that? <laughs> that there's nothing to get. <laughs> it's the only move i know it's like literally (laughs) (laughs) it is the only move the individual knows is what do i do about that what about me and sometimes when i'm listening to other people interact with this message i get i can get irritated with them and say you're not listening you don't hear it you know yeah and i but it's i'm and so what anyway yeah so what (laughs) yeah (laughs) all there is is getting irritated who cares it's just irritation why not cool thanks man thank you hi claire hi hi jim hi um i just wanted to check with you I think you might have said um at one of the meetings um that it's not that there isn't a path it just it didn't happen in the path maybe I don't think that was quite the words you said but yeah um, it, it's not that there isn't a path it just it just didn't happen in a timeline of path that's it, right that well path? well that timeline is just an appearance of absence yeah. or not yeah, yeah. So it's not that there isn't what theme what we put in the past apparently. Yeah, it's just it's, not real. It's it's just but it's still apparently yeah. real. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, this yeah. body is conditioned, it learned English, it yeah. has preferences, all of that still appears. It just doesn't mm-hmm. happen. The, the the illusion is that it happens for someone. The illusion is that it happens for someone yeah. or happened in the past for someone. Well, for but th- for the individual, the past is real. Hmm. Hmm. Rather than just the absence appearing as a past. Yeah. Well. But the past could could happen for no one, apparently. Happen yeah, well, everything no happens one. for no one already. This is happening yeah. for no one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, thanks. Thanks, Claire. Hi, Mark. Hey. Um, I think I forgot my question, but maybe, <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe uh, John can go first. And I'll, I'll, uh, okay. All right. <laughs> yeah. I'll leave your hand up. Hi, John. Hey. Um, so we were just talking about, I wonder if you're familiar with George Barkley, the philosopher. I am not. So he said something very similar to you, that basically there was no such thing as matter. Matter was all immaterial because they were just ideas in the mind or something like that. And no, that's not, that's not actually similar. Well, it's sort of similar. He's saying that reality is insubst- insubstantial, that there's no actual material. But it sounds like he has a philosophy that it's all a projection, like Kathy was going to, of the brain. Maybe I'm not sure what he would say about that, but let's but putting that difference aside for a moment. Uh, he was he was someone argued against Samuel Johnson argued against him famously by saying that uh, he kicked a rock and he said I refuted thus. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but that's the problem with his argument. 
<clears throat> I know that. I know that discussion, actually. I remember that. Yeah. People say that about this as well, that if, um, oh, there's no one there, let me punch you in the face and you, they'll, you'll feel pain, missing the entire point that it's not about whether pain appears or not. It's just that it's, it's happening for no one. It's happening for no one. Yeah. But it's still okay i'm not sure i get that <laughs> it seems like if it if it's if there's nothing yeah then shouldn't be any solidity anywhere there isn't well but then how come like this hand can't pass through this hand oh that's well there's apparent solidity mm. but when you say apparent you mean that that solidity could go away let's say this maybe this hand could pass through this hand anything could happen anything it doesn't seem to but anything right. can so then it's almost like nothing is in a kind of habit of appearing like like you said the road the, the no road. it's i wouldn't call it a habit no not in any way whatsoever there isn't then, any time there's apparent time but it's not real habit would require there to be time but it seems that the whole reality then sort of conceals what's being said because but you're talking about a reality <clears throat> as though it's real and part of a continuum rather than an appearance of absence, which is this. But it seems to you be- can't, You can't put, a, you can't make sense of a story with what we're talking about here. Mm. That's why it's not a philosophy. That's mm. why it leaves you with nothing. There isn't anywhere to go with it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's funny. That's it has funny. no value, has no meaning or purpose, no intention. But yeah, at the same time, it's everything it's longed for. Oh yeah, absolutely. It's everything that's longed for, but not what, but not by that separate sense. That separate sense wants to know this is absence, and that's how absence hides. It does seem like a bit of a cruel joke. Oh yeah, a bit. Except yeah. there isn't anyone. If there were really someone, it would be cruel. But there isn't anyone. <laughs> okay thank you thank you hi mark hey um well it seems like the me or whatever you want to call it is is, is living in a world of its own ideas of good and bad and how to live and how not to live or yeah oh totally and it just sort of spins around that all totally um, Yep. And it's like talking, not talking to itself, but you know what I mean? Like, oh, it's completely. Like oh, it is. It's talking to itself. It's exactly what it's doing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and you're saying that is, uh, yeah, what, what, are you, what are you saying about that? Well, it comes with the sense of separation that there's this, these, um, this conversation with itself about right and wrong and good and bad and intention. as it, it is as there is someone in that that's the um, sense the sense is there's someone having a conversation with itself thinking is is mostly conversations with the the me having a conversation with itself hmm. not all of it but a lot of it and is that an issue to it or what what are you suggesting or well, there isn't a, the the biggest problem for the separate sense is there isn't a problem. It's trying to solve something <laughs> that isn't that isn't wrong. Okay, right. All there is is absence, and that's what's longed for. This conversation and everything else that seems to be appearing is absence, is empty. Mm. Right. It, it feels like there i mean i think i feel in my i would say contraction in my legs when i'm i don't know talking to you or it's like it's like it's like my body does like i don't know it feels like yeah contract contracted or yeah like, fight or flight yeah kind of kind yeah. of uh yeah like just just ten, like just my legs are tensing tensing yeah. up or yeah 
but I know I'm not a. It's not like I'm in danger, but it's. it's oh, you are. Yeah, but 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 not, not like I'm in like I'm in a car going towards. No, it's wall. worse than that. In the car, you might have a car wreck. Here, you just might die. <laughs> right and, and all this the stories of whatever stories are just irrelevant or meaningless yeah or yeah there isn't anything actually relevant in the sense that it's all already absence there isn't any need for anything to happen. Things apparently happen, but there isn't any need. Right. Okay. Okay. Thank you. All right. Thanks, Mark. Hey, Alan. Uh, that's funny. Uh, I always suspected that people around you were dropping like flies, you know, that you're <laughs> a very, very deadly and dangerous guy. <laughs> so that, that was pretty cool um, to talk like that. I, I, I imagine that there, you've had people uh, uh, that... Um, have kind of uh, come to the a final shift uh, over the years. Uh, yeah, that have spent time with you. Yeah. And, uh, well, I, I mean, they, I've had. I think most probably don't get in touch because why would you? But right. uh, I sometimes get telephone calls or emails that say that there wasn't about spending time. It was just they heard, they watched a video. Right. Yeah, I guess it doesn't take much, uh, depending well, on the state. You know, I mean, it's a bit misleading to talk about it actually there being a shift or something happening. I think I've made clear through this through this meeting that it's already done. All there is is absence. So a shift in that sense is the same as a leaf falling or a burp or anything else. It's just something that apparently happens. It's not worth talking about only for the individual that feels like it's important and special, that it's looking for something important and special to happen. But the liberation isn't important or special. Right. Doesn't actually happen. There isn't anyone for it to happen to. Exactly, right. <laughs> yeah, um, pure subjectivity without an object. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. yeah. Thank you, Jim. All right, thanks, Alan. Yeah. Hi, Giovanni. Nope, that didn't work. Let's see. Can yep, you, you got me? it. Yep. Okay. When you say, when we say that all there is is appearances, the underlying uh, emphasis is that nothing has more importance than anything other. There yeah. is no meaning to anything, right? <laughs> That's right, but that's pointing to the absence of everything. The yes. absence of meaning, the absence of purpose, the absence of intention. Yes, what I mean is that by saying that it's all absence, the relevance is that there is no meaning to anything. That's right. <laughs> yeah. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> No meaning to anything, yeah. It's just just appearances. It's just freedom. 
here. Yeah, I guess this is all I had to say. Great. Thank well, thanks for that. Appreciate it. Hi, Mark. Oh, hey, when so it is is the sort of you'd say liberation and freedom or whatever is it the more energetic than it feels like from or here this sort of contraction or a tensing or tensing tightening of the body when, when that kind of let's say loses up or just well it's know. not about that loosening up it does hide. <clears throat> the what comes out of the tension and it's not actually a physical tension that's recognizable as far as i'm concerned but what comes out of that tension is a sense of separation a sense of being someone and that sense of being someone hides mm. that all there is is absence right. but it's still all there is is absence. yeah i guess it 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 makes it... I didn't hear any of that. You're breaking up a bit. It's a very okay. It's a very um it's a very strong illusion then. Or it feels yeah, well, it feels strong. It, it it feels that way. When it's happening it feels like it's strong. It's not really Okay. It's part of the illusion. Yeah, it's a good illusion then. Yeah. <laughs> well, okay. it's not good or bad. It's just yeah. how okay. it appears. But I, I mean, good isn't strong. Or isn't yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks, Mark. Hi, Nina. Hi, Jim. How are you? Hi. Good, thanks. How are you? Yeah, nice to see you again. Uh, my question is, because I sense, I don't know, there is a sense that when everything is empty, you know, like appears, it appears, but it's empty in itself, something like yeah, that. That's right. Yeah, so that's mean there is doesn't leave any trace no yet. okay so being empty there is like there is no past no future kind of well empty. there's an apparent past and apparent, apparent. yeah but it's because it's empty yeah it's all fresh and new trace. yeah it's all fresh and new doesn't yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's what i was like i'm like how yeah. do i see that but because it feels not you know that sense of Wow. Yeah. So yeah. every time is new because it's yeah. empty and doesn't have a trace, doesn't no. leave a uh -uh. trace behind. No. So that's the freedom. That is freedom, yeah. It is freedom because I don't have to like but it's but I mean that's it, this is already free, whether it, there's a sense of a trace or not. Yeah, okay. It's all already free. But it gives kind of a like and that part of that freedom is that it can appear as limited as a trace as a trace, but yeah. it's not trace at all. it's no, that there isn't no <laughs> okay <laughs> thank you all right, thanks, Nina. yeah, I just want to say that that in Tennessee that uh, retreat was i mean residential was beautiful, I really yeah, it was lovely it was yeah. lovely, I love that place, so see you next year, okay, great. <laughs> <laughs> Bye for now. All right. Um, hi, Kathy. Hi. Hi. I can't find the video. Oh, anyway, hi. <laughs> I just hi. wanted to just want to say I want to be one of those people that sends you the email. Oh. <laughs> <Aww. laughs> No one sends emails. 
<laughs> just emails <laughs> happen apparently well, like, what's the email that happened that's all <laughs> you don't actually love you jim thank you thank you love so you much too. thanks thank, thank you. you oops didn't mean to cut you off hi moira hi yeah hey can you hear me yeah Can you hear me? Oh, you disappeared again. Oh, good. There we are. Can you hear me? Yeah. <laughs> there we go. I'll leave the yeah. video off because I can't get it on. Okay. I just got annoyed about something or I've latched on to something that someone said a minute ago because I was all right. I was sailing along and then um, I don't know who it was, a couple of speakers back said, um, as he was going, there's subjectivity without an object. Yeah. And that I've latched onto that. Going, What's yeah. that supposed to mean? I'm like, yeah, just that. I mean, it's I meaning get... really because there can't be a subject without an object. But I understood what he meant. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Well, it's meaningless. Right. Well done. You picked it up. I picked it up. I did pick it up. Yeah. I latched yeah. onto it like a, yeah. you know. A limper. <laughs> ah, so there's nothing. There's there's no. There is no subject either. The no. subject is Well, there's object. nothing identifiable. There's absence, emptiness, nothing. Yeah, but if there's a subject, that is an object. No. Oh, totally. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I feel better now. Then. Okay. Oh, good. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's Take all. Care, Moira. All right. Thanks. Yeah. Okay. I got to run mute now, but I'll just see what. All right, Giovanni, we're going to stop after this. Hi, Giovanni. Uh, if we talk about pure subjectivity, isn't yeah. it the same as saying as pure objectivity? Yeah. They are both the same, right? Yeah. Because there is no separation. That's is... right. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Thanks, folks. I will I, I will say in, in parting, I guess sort of what I said in the beginning is there isn't this isn't about anything really. It's there, it's not offering any path or any goal or anything to take away whatsoever. Everything, what's longed for is absence. All there is is absence. And that's already the case. This is that. It's all that apparently happens is nothing or absence. Thank you all. Thank you all very much for joining. Bye.